I'm here with Adam Lancia from uh, Team Canada men's team. Uh, obviously, you guys uh, didn't get the start you wanted uh, this afternoon. Can you maybe just give me a summary of, of what happened today? Uh, we're st we're still trying to figure out exactly what happened. I mean, we came out to a rough start. We didn't start well. We couldn't make buckets, and then uh, yeah, it just didn't get any better. We just weren't able to establish a really good momentum swing and get us, you know, get the ball kind of moving on our side. Get a couple lucky bounces. That just it was like one of those games where you feel like you're just working against 30 or 40 people instead of the, just the other five guys on the court. And uh, for whatever reason, nothing just worked out. We just. Well, and that's the thing. Sometimes, you know, when shots aren't going in, it can be really tough to, to get your momentum back. Um, you guys were obviously trying to do that. Is there is there certain strategies or certain things that you, you guys will try and do in order to, to get a bit of momentum? Yeah, I mean, we we always try to put guys in specific places that we know they're good from scoring from. Dave Durapo, we try to put behind a screen and get him going from outside, shooting, making easy buckets. Well, what's easy for him? Um, you know, we try to get Joey into the key and David Ng into the key and Abdi up to the free throw line, getting, getting easy free throw shots. I mean, when that stuff's just not working, then I mean, I mean, those are the things that we rely on to work, and when those aren't working for whatever reason, you know, we got to look at video to figure out what those reasons are. Then you get your back up against the wall pretty quickly. Well, you guys will have another match again tomorrow, so hopefully we're gonna we're gonna start the winning streak all over again tomorrow. We have uh, Team Canada coming up tomorrow. We have the women's game coming up shortly, and we're gonna get to that action. I'm here with Anne Lachance. She's an international classifier from Canada. And Anne, can you tell me uh, what is the main goal of classification? The main goal of classification is to level off the playing field so that each team can compete equally against each other. And how do you do that? Well, we look at each player and their ability to carry out various basketball skills. And based on that ability, we assign them classes. What are some of the skills uh, that you could use as an example? Well, one of the things we would use is uh, the ability to rebound with both hands or the ability to dribble the ball ahead of the chair so that the player can push faster or the ability to catch a ball in different directions. And here at the tournament, you're working on a, a project. Uh, can you tell me a bit about that project? Yeah, uh, Wheelchair Basketball Canada has uh, given some funding so that I can work on this project for the next year. Um, I am doing a lot of videotaping of players in action and I'm also looking at individual players ability to carry out these skills. It's a resource material, educational resource material that I'm doing. And once, uh, it's a DVD you're doing, correct? Yes, yes. Once that DVD is finalized, uh, who's going to be using it or who will you be sharing it with? It will be made available, uh, as I understand it, on the website uh, and it will be available for purchase uh, for whoever is interested. In it. It's going to be called Introduction to Classification. So it's really for the layperson to learn about classification. Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing the finished product. and. Um, we both do, and uh, here we are at the 2010 World Wheelchair Basketball Championships. Coming up, we have more of the game action. So it's day eight of the 2010 World Wheelchair Basketball Championships. I'm here with Tara Fazer of the women's national team. Uh, you guys just beat Japan, which is great because uh, that was the quarterfinal matchup, which means you're uh, you're moving on to the semifinals. Tell me how you feel. We feel great. Uh, this is our first goal that we wanted to do was uh, get into the semifinals, and our next goal is to be on the um, in the finals. So we've made our first goal, and now we're ready for the next one. On to, on to bigger things. Yep. Um, obviously with that game it was a really good start. I think it was 7 nothing before uh, Japan even got a shot. So um, that's the type of start I would expect you guys were looking for. Yes, it, we came off the bench uh, ready to play this game and you could tell that right from the first shot that we took that we were confident and it brought it all the way down to the end. Momentum uh, is a big thing you, you want to try and keep throughout the game um, and I've been told that one of the ways a good way to do that is to try and score the last basket of the quarter S uh, and I know that you came on in the third quarter and you sunk a really big uh, three-pointer. Um, you know, Tell me a little bit about that play and, and sort of what was going through your mind. 
That play is something that we've drawn out many, many times, and I didn't even think about it. I just think it was the last second of um, that quarter or anything like that. I just um, shot my three like I regularly would, and it went in, and it pumped everybody up, and I think that's what you need at the end of the quarter, but you don't have to think about that and have that pressure. So that's, I think, throughout the entire game, everyone was very calm and collected, and we weren't having that pressure on us, so it was good. Well, I, I think it was good as well, absolutely. Thank you very much for the interview. Congratulations on the win. We look forward to your next match. That's coming up on Friday. Before then, we have uh, Team Canada men who are going to have a match tomorrow. And uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you.